Let's enter Stone Hill. Let's enter Stone Hill. Forty treasure. Mm, Forty. And gems, actually, I don't really know what gems do. You don't really use gems very much in this game. I think you use it for like a couple things. Uh, really. Oh yeah, I think I forgot. I think I remember. Like I think um. No, no. I well, the only thing that I really know that the uh, gems do is just help you get a hundred. And if you guys heard that, then good for you. That na 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 sound was a thief. He stole one of dragon eggs, and dragon eggs are, yes, another thing that the only reason we need them is for to get 100%. But the thing is, these thieves are very extremely hard to catch because they run around at really high speed. Well, they run and run really quickly, and it's really a trial to try to catch one. And I think there's one on the top area of this, but I don't know. But let's go up there and see. These, um, these are magic like whirlwinds. They, they just kind of lift us up. Let's rescue another dragon. Build this. Squirrel, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Mm-hmm. Okay, so find the area that's closest to land, which I think is over here, and jump and glide over here. <coughs> now, this is a force field, it has no, basically there's something over there, so. I believe that the thief is somewhere around here. Yes. Come back here, you! Yeah? One minute! This one is extremely easy. Can you wait a couple minutes, Dad? Um, okay, let's run around here and grab some treasure. What do you want, Dad? What do you want? Um, I'll have some spaghetti, I guess. No? Nope. All right, this is a new area. This is a new part of the area, the level that we have not been to. Okay, I think, let's kill this guy first. These are clams. Just burn them and they give you a new life. Do you freed all the dragons? Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. I'm gonna try to get up. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get around right that line. Okay, now if you stand on the pedestal that you've already thing, then say your game. You can replay what the dragon said, or you can just go. You don't need to do any of that stuff. So let's fly down here. Whee! We see a key. Hmm. And some quite things. Holy cow. I don't know if I'm going to And go into water. Water kills you in this game. You cannot swim. Before we enter there, let's look around and see what we need this key to do. Let's drop, go into the wind. All right, and we see another dragon. We see a treasure chest that has a lock on it, and we see a vortex. No! Hey. Okay. Let's free the dragon. David. 
Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. But, so we're already halfway to uh, being able to go to the next level. But let's use that key on this chest. And get a whole bunch of gold. And now we leave. Okay, let's let's actually there's actually an area over here. I think. No, that's the other area. as fast as you can. And I love this game because you can travel very quickly. Uh, yay, treasure area. Well, for it, let's get all the treasure before we talk to the dragon. Alright, let's read the dragon now. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Okay, yeah. So let's let's head out. We've we've gone, I think just about a hundred we've basically Stone Hill. We have a couple more treasures to collect. Let's see, um, I don't know where these are. Uh, they're probably around here somewhere, but I'm not going to look for them. Oh wait, I guess I know where they are, so I might as well just... No, wait a minute, I thought there was another cave over here, but that's just the portal. Okay, well, let's go, even if we don't have 100%. I'm not, this is my playthrough, I'm not trying to get 100%. Two thirty. Two hundred thirty. And we have six dragons. And he says that we need ten. Okay, if if you saw that small little orb, good for you. If you uh, def if you defeat an enemy, you have the already defeated, then you get a small little orb. And don't be afraid. Afraid. The small, if you close a certain amount of small little orbs, you get an extra health. Into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Yeah. Because there's actually a certain amount of treasure you can actually collect in this game. So again, if you have already, de if you kill an enemy you have already defeated, then you get a gem. Collect enough gems to get an extra health. All right. Well, I'll see you next time, I guess. Bye.